Custom segments in Google Ads are a type of audience that you can create and then use for your video, display, and discovery campaigns. You can create your own custom segments, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute, by either entering interests or search keywords. So you can actually enter search keywords that people are typing into Google or YouTube. Google Ads will use your custom segments for reach, consideration, or performance depending on your campaign type and objective. For example, if you're running a campaign that is set up to drive sales, you're using conversion tracking, then they will use your custom segments for performance to help drive more conversions throughout the course of your campaign. So let's come over to Google Ads and let's go over how to create custom segments. So you can actually do this as you are going through the campaign creation process, or you can do it by going to Tools and Settings and going to Audience Manager under Shared Library. So under your shared library in the audience manager, you're gonna see your data segments here, which is gonna include all of your remarketing audiences and any of your similar segments that have been created. But if we come over here to custom segments, these are some of the different custom segments that I've created, and there's two different types. They're all called custom segments, but you'll see over here search terms. So this includes people who have searched for certain terms on Google. If we click on the plus sign to create a new custom segment, what you can do is name your segment. So let's just say I want to target people who have an interest in recipes. So you could do people with any of these interests or purchase intentions. So if I just enter recipes here, maybe I want to enter baking recipes. Maybe I want to talk about cupcake recipes. So I want to focus on more of these baking type recipes. What you can do is enter some of these different keywords here and you can use them as interests or purchase intentions. Now what you're gonna see is I enter recipes, I enter these three keywords. We're gonna start getting some insights about our segment, our weekly available impressions. So when you're using some of these different interests and purchase intentions, it's gonna create pretty large audiences. And then you're gonna find different topics as well for some of the types of websites people are interested in. Now what you can do is do people with any of these interests or purchase intentions, enter a bunch of different keywords here. You wanna make sure you're entering Keep your keywords relevant. You don't want to go from recipes and then enter a, a completely separate interest here, for example, marathon running or something unrelated to recipes. So when you're creating custom segments, keep them very tight and targeted with the interest and purchase intentions. Or if you're using search terms, keep all your search terms relevant. Then what we can also do is expand the segment by also including people who browse types of websites people who browse websites similar to, and I can say allrecipes.com, foodnetwork.com, and enter a bunch of different websites related to recipes, baking recipes, so you can come up with a huge list of different websites. So what this is saying is include people with the following interests or behaviors, enter some of these different interests here, or people who browse websites similar to allrecipesfoodnetwork.com, so we're doing an or here, people with these interests or people who browse websites similar to these websites. So this is one way to create a custom segment. We can click on save and it's gonna create a recipes custom segment, which we can then target in our advertising campaigns. The other thing we can do is people who search for any of these terms on Google, let's get rid of the website option here. So what we're saying is people who search for any of these terms, you're gonna see our weekly impressions change and our demographics have actually changed as well. So gender here is 68% female for people searching for these terms. When we're looking at interest or purchase intentions, we're actually at 61% male, larger amount of weekly impressions. So if you're looking for a larger audience, you can use interest and purchase intentions. Personally, I generally use people who search for any of these terms on Google when I'm creating custom segments. And you can expand the segment by also doing people who browse certain types of websites or people who use types of apps. So I can enter a bunch of different recipe type apps here. You can search the Google Play Store. So let's just say I do recipes and it's gonna pull up some of the top apps here. So I could say people who use this Yummy Recipes cookbook and cook recipe app and this stays pretty similar over here. So generally what I'll do is I won't do expand the segment by also including. I will just do people who search for any of these terms on Google only on campaigns running on Google properties, on other campaigns, terms will be used as interest or purchase intentions. So what we can do now do is we can save this. Let's just say I just wanna do baking recipes, cupcake recipes, we'll keep it all relevant to baking. And we'll do specifically baking sweets. So cake recipes, pie recipes. So we'll keep it here for now. 
Now we can enter some of these cherry pie filling recipes, easy peanut butter pie recipe. So you can enter some of these different search terms as well. Let's just say I'm selling a cookbook or a cooking course related to baking and specifically maybe cake decorating or making cupcakes or something like that. So let's say I'm targeting that. So what I can do is enter all of these different relevant search terms, people who have shown an interest in baking pies, cakes, cupcakes, I can enter cookies, we'll click on save. And then what we can do is you can see our recipes custom segment, I should probably change this to baking, but let's come back over to Google ads. And let's say I wanna create a new campaign. Let's say I wanna drive sales, I'm trying to drive purchases of my baking cookbook or whatever it is, we'll click on continue. So for a custom segment, you can use it for display, video and discovery campaigns. So let's just say in this case, I wanna run a video campaign. We wanna drive conversions. We'll click on continue. So as we're going through all of our different settings, we're creating our campaign. As we come down here for audience, so people who we wanna reach, we can click on add an audience and we can click to create a new audience and enter our audience name here, add or create custom segments. So you can actually create custom segments right here. If I come over to browse, it'll pull up all of the custom custom segments I've created. I can choose recipes and that's all I really need to do to enter this audience. So this would be my custom segment that I'm targeting. I can click on save, I could exclude. What you're gonna see is some of the top interests. So pretty good here if I am t selling something related to baking, 22%, 25 and 34 years old. So we could see demographic data, we can see gender data. So we can see all of these different data here and we can click on save and start targeting this custom segment that we just created. And then all you wanna do is look at how your performance is and you can always try a different custom segment or you may be better off trying something like a similar audience or using your data or using an existing in-market segment. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.